Aloha everyone in this goddess temple. Welcome to my empowered life session. Today I'm going to be sharing about the power of life coaching. Um, if you can hear me, can you write a comment because this is looking like a whole new live setup on Facebook and uh, it's a bit unfamiliar. So if, if everyone can hear me or if anyone watching can hear me, maybe you can just write a comment because this screen is looking quite interesting. So I'm going to trust that this is uh, that this is live right now. Um, this empowered life session is really to share a little bit about my journey as a life coach, as well as to give you some information about um, the amazing power of life coaching. And I'm going to be sharing sort of two of the core pillars of coaching in my experience. And then finally, I'm going to be sharing a little bit about why I feel um, the coaching field is growing and is so important right now um, with everything that's going on on our planet. Um, Georgia, hey. Okay, cool. Hi. Yeah, this is very strange. I guess I'm not an adaptable person. Um, okay, amazing. So I want to begin with a little grounding um, just to gather our energy here together in this temple space, in this circle of women. So I feel really grateful to be here. And let us just close our eyes and just tune into our hearts, really bringing the whole self present here. And just feeling the body relaxing exactly where you are now and taking some deep breaths and imagining that with every breath, your energy is expanding. Every breath in your energy is expanding and you're filling up. And as you exhale, just relaxing, just letting go, that natural letting go process. Breathing in, filling up with this life force energy Breathing out, just moving into resting mode. So by doing this, we're just centering, we're just coming back to our own nature. And our breath is so natural. So just feeling the natural inhale and the natural exhale. feeling ourselves sitting on this beautiful earth, feeling us ourselves connected from the heart and feeling ourselves connected from above to guidance, wisdom, love, compassion. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes so I've had some time to reflect on my journey to becoming a life coach, which actually began in 2013, which is over seven years ago. And I was actually in the middle of a PhD program. I was on the academic path. Um, I was on my way to becoming a professor of Buddhism. And this was a very safe path for me. It was just something I had always done. Um, I was always into Buddhism and I was always um, interested in, in learning things and I was, um, I enjoyed research, I enjoyed writing, so it was just almost like a path that was carved out for me. But there came a point in 2013 where I realized that I was almost moving on autopilot. I wasn't actually happy doing what I was doing. Um, and that discovery or realization that I had to face hit me very hard. And perhaps some of you are familiar with this feeling. Um, maybe it's happened a few years ago, maybe it's happening now, 
when you you suddenly recognize that you're not satisfied <laughs> where in in the path that most of your energy is going to and then from there it's like well what do i do so i hit that crossroads of i know i'm not happy but i don't know what's going to take its place and that's a very scary feeling but i knew i had to follow that feeling that there was something more that there was something greater for me and so i took off 49 days from doing anything related to um, my current work which was working on my phd dissertation i was in taiwan at that time and i started diving into myself and really questioning myself and really basically wiping the slate clean of everything that i thought i was everything that you know i had developed in terms of a personality and an identity i knew that if i wanted to step into a, a path and a way of being that was really me i would have to let go <laughs> of this this other identity i had crafted so it was during this period of 49 days that i started to really ask myself, what am I passionate about? What am I good at? What do I enjoy doing? And I really discovered that I love helping people. I love working with people. I love guiding. I love teaching. And I must have Googled something after I identified all these gifts and did a whole bunch of exercises. And actually, that's how I discovered life coaching even existed. I didn't know in 2013 that life coaching was even a field <laughs> that life coaching was something that one could do and i remember when i discovered that i felt a sense of relief and excitement and i found my teacher brooke castillo of the life coach school right away she's the first person i saw was offering training and i looked at her work i listened to her teachings and i knew that she's the one I wanted to work with. And so I think I looked up a couple other programs, but I pretty much within a week actually signed up to train with her. And that's how my journey began. And I didn't really know what exactly I was getting into, but I knew that learning about our mind and learning how to take responsibility for our feelings learning how to hold space for ourselves and for our others and for others was something that felt like home. It, it was something that felt like, yes, this is the work that's important to me. This is the work that I want to do. So that's how my journey began. And from here, I want to share sort of the two core pillars. You know, there's many, there's many aspects of coaching. But in this session, um, sharing with you the power of coaching, I want to share two pillars that I find to be um, just for, very central to the coaching journey, whether you're looking to work with a coach um, or you're actually coaching others. So the first aspect of coaching work is being able to step back and to have a wider awareness of what's going on in this beautiful mind of ours. So most of us are not taught how to think. We actually are born into the world and we just get fed all this information and all these programs. And by the time we're adults, it's kind of just running on autopilot. What coaching does and what actually I believe other spiritual or wisdom traditions do is they help you slow down and pause and take a step back and to to look and investigate what is actually going on in my mind the very fact that you can even step back and look at your mind means that you have the power to then shift the thoughts and shift the programming that's going on and I feel this is one of the greatest gifts of coaching is that coaches allow, give a person the space to take a step back and look at what's happening. And coaches often serve as mirrors 
they ask questions, they reflect back. And the person starts to see that, wow, what's going on in my mind is actually creating how I'm feeling in my life. So it's not this outside set of circumstances. It's not this annoying boss that is the cause of all my problems and my issues. I can actually take a step back and look at what am I thinking about this person? What am I thinking about this circumstance that is causing me so much distress? So this is a really important aspect of coaching. And in that sense, it's actually quite meditative because meditation is also a practice that allows one to take a step back and to just be the watcher, to just observe what is happening. But coaching actually gives a more, in my, my opinion, a more clear, guided and practical process to what to do after you start to see <laughs> what's going on in your mind. It helps you actually begin to clean up what's going on there and start replacing some of these thoughts and beliefs that are limiting us with thoughts that are actually going to serve us, that are actually going to allow us to uh, feel the way we want to feel, to act the way we want to act, and therefore to get the kind of results that we want in our life. So it's really a beautiful process that a coach takes one through, takes one through. The second aspect of life coaching and what makes it so powerful is that it's a relationship and so much of our so much of our our hardship and our suffering has occurred in relationship <laughs> and that's why i believe so much of the healing also has to happen in relationship a coach has the i i feel extremely important and privileged role of being a space holder who is emanating the energy of love and non-judgment. It's just, the, the coach is just helping a person investigate, explore. And that is such a valuable thing in our world where there's so much action, there's so much going, there's so much noise and people are actually having challenges even listening, knowing how to listen. So a coach is someone who is holding a space and that space is wholly dedicated to the benefits and the support of that person, of that client. Even that action in itself is incredibly transformative. It's like it slows everything down and just allows the person to access their truth, to access what is actually happening in their body, their physical body, their emotional body, what's happening in their mind. And that space is really a space of awareness. And my philosophy really is that when the light of awareness goes on, that's where transformation is really possible. So that's the second um, core pillar of life coaching that I wanna share. And if anyone has questions or um, feedback, you know, you're welcome to, to, to type it in the, in the comment section. The final thing that I wanted to address in this Empowered Life session is why I feel that those in the coaching role or the helping role or the healing role are so important during this transition on our planet right now. And I feel it's because we're moving into a whole new world. <laughs> Systems are really starting to crumble and it's like people uh, are having a hard time feeling like they're on solid ground. And I feel that those who are able to hold space, those are who are able to guide a person to actually take a step back and look inside are going to be some of, that this is gonna be some of the most valuable work right now because 
that's what's needed. If everything was working and functioning perfectly, the engine would just keep rolling. But things are really breaking down and there's a lot of confusion and there's also a lot of creativity right now. So I really feel that the field of coaching is like almost like a no, if it's a bridge, bridge, it's some sort of bridge for this transition period where people are needing the space and the time to go within. So I just want to honor everyone, you know, who is doing this work, you know, either for yourself, like you're on your own, just going within and really allowing yourself to feel and allowing yourself to look where it's sometimes scary to look um, and also to honor those who are holding space for other people because it's really really valuable um, I'm trying to feel if there's anything else that wants to come through oh yes i want to share that for those who are wanting to learn how to coach yourself first i actually have a master class that I taught a, a few months ago that will share a basic model of coaching that I use in my work and that I teach those um, who want to be coaches as well. But if you're looking for sort of a basic understanding of at least the approach to coaching that I am trained in, which is mind-based coaching, um, then I highly recommend this class and I'll post a link um, to that class below. Here, I just want to make a distinction between mind-based coaching and action-based coaching. So action-based coaching is a kind of coaching that focuses more on the action. It focuses more on um, the, the outer manifestation of how we operate in the world. Um, this is where accountability is often really important. This is where planning is often really important. But what I find is that if we only focus on the action and we focus on just changing the action, often the results that you will get through that approach to coaching is very superficial and it's also temporary. So mind-based coaching actually looks at what is behind the action, which is how a person is feeling in their body. And those feelings are actually driven by the whole thought structure that's going on. So mind-based coaching is really addressing the root of how we are creating in this world. And a final really exciting announcement that I want to share is that I'm gonna be offering a 20 hour Foundations of Coaching training program. Um, and this is going to be hosted actually by the Goddess Temple. And I feel so excited and so grateful that I can offer this work to this community. So I'm also going to share some information about that training, which begins in about three or four weeks. And if you have any questions about that, you're welcome to ask me. Um, anyone has questions? Oh, I didn't see any of these comments. It wasn't uh, rolling. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Georgia. Hi, Rochelle. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Coaches reflect, Rachel says, coaches reflect back the highest potential for their clients. It's really true. You know, one of the practices that I use before beginning any session with someone is that I, I literally see their highest self, like before me. And everything else that we're working through, all the noise of the thoughts and the different pains that's going on, you know, that's just there. But we're holding, we're, we're, hold, we're, connected in this knowingness that there's something greater and we're just working through this mucky stuff in order to access that in order to uncover what's already there so i love that ah, yes i'm passionate about this work as well mm. rochelle says i feel like those who are able to witness within and be a witness to that gift with others and the world I feel like those who are able to witness within maybe can be a witness 
a witness to others. I'm not sure I understand what Rochelle is saying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, oh, yeah. So, um, thank you all for, for receiving this sharing about the power of life coaching. Um, it's, it's work that I really have dedicated my life to. Um, so I'm happy to answer any questions and definitely excited to be offering this training for all of you. So aloha and blessings and I will connect with you very soon. Bye-bye.